The new content creator pack, Heart of Korea for City Skylines, features a ton of amazing new assets for you to play with in your game. But today I've compiled what I believe to be the 15 best out of the entire pack, and I'll explain why for each one of them. Let's go ahead and jump in. First off, talking about this right here, the Crematorium Memorial Park. Now, to be honest, most of the crematoriums in City Skylines don't look that great. And in fact, they don't blend too well into many different types of cities. This one, on the other hand, is a beautiful modern interpretation of a crematorium park, and I think it will blend well into really just about any suburb or themed city. In fact, it's great to see this come with a content creator pack. I think it's probably one of my favorite assets to come out of a content creator pack in quite a long time. Moving on to the next few assets, though, there's a few I've compiled. Now, I do want to point out, because I've grouped them all together, I am going to make it a note in the description below, so be sure to read that so you can see the different names of each one of these assets. I'll have numbers up on the screen right now that will correspond to their name in game so you can use find it to search for them anytime. Now starting with these two over on the left hand side the main reason I love these two is because of the underground parking. This reminds me of a lot of the cities that I've lived in and I think it's a great addition to see in city skylines. Having this main level parking under the building looks absolutely fantastic. It's such an odd thing to obsess over but I love it and I think it's a great addition to the low density really medium density residential assets. Speaking of medium density that is another thing that I absolutely love about these along with the fact that you can see this one right here is actually a mixed use design building. I think it looks absolutely fantastic and Elvis blew it out of the water with this pack. In fact, this might be my favorite content creator pack to ever be released. I think a lot of the different assets are very unique but also blend well into just about any type of city you could build. Seeing a mixed use building in city skylines and seeing all of these medium density buildings in cities is something that usually you have to go to the Steam Workshop for. So to be able to have them in the vanilla game is an awesome addition. Also, when it comes to these buildings, the detail is absolutely insane. Look at this modern single family home right here with the garage entrance street level, the house propped up onto the second story, and a cute little dock house over to the side. The detail in this content creator pack is probably the best out of any I've seen so far, and I'm so thrilled that this is in the game. As much as I hate to say it, normally the back of a building in City Skylines gets uh, rather ignored. So it's so incredible to see that this content creator pack focuses on even the rear of the buildings, even being able to see straight through some of the buildings. But moving on next, I want to talk about this asset right here, the Police Security Center. Now this is oddly a very basic building, so it's not something I would normally add to this list, but I think in this content creator pack, this is one of the assets that can truly be placed anywhere. And that's what I tried to keep together with this entire content creator pack. It's nice to build a themed city, but if you're going to spend the money on a content pack, I personally would like to be able to apply the assets to a variety of different cities. And that's one of the reasons I think this little police station works so well. Going back to what I was talking about before with the detail, you can see the solar panels on the roof, the satellites, the antennas, and the AC units. It's a fantastic little asset, and I'm happy to have it in the game. Moving on though, we have the Ujoy Entertainment Agency. Now this is a wonderful asset with a lot of different details, but one of the main reasons I love it is just look at the wood that is placed on the roof of this building, as well as the green space. In fact, that applies to quite a few of the different assets in this content creator pack. From a top-down view, we have a variety of different looks feels as opposed to let's say skyscrapers where everything for the most part looks pretty much the same from the top it's nice to be able to see some color in your city from a top-down perspective including a lot of the green space and the different textures on top of the buildings moving back a little bit though let's talk about chirps thumbs up plaza now i will admit it is kind of creepy seeing chirp in human form but this is a wonderful little asset to show off some green space and to have a little pedestrian area in the middle of your city center and frankly, this is an asset that I think you would see in just about any major city, and it makes a nice statement piece for any city park or pedestrian area, although it is a little creepy to look at. Moving on from that though, let's talk about the large elementary school. This has to be one of my favorite assets and I am so excited to use this in my cities. It is a great asset with a very high student capacity for an elementary school. And obviously one of the things I love most is that it has a playground and soccer field built into the asset itself included right from the start so you don't have to go and create a playground in the back of your school. 
It's ready to go and place directly into your city. I love this asset. I think it's incredibly unique. I also love how it appears to have been added onto at some point as if it was a, a renovation or an addition to the school to add more student capacity. I think this is a fantastic little asset and I am so overjoyed to have another school in the game. Moving on though, let's talk about what is likely the centerpiece for this content creator pack, the Acro Castle Apartment Complex. Now, unfortunately, this is listed as a unique building, so it's not going to operate as residential or fulfill any of your residential demand, but just look at this building. It is stunning. I think it will pair really well with a lot of the different assets and skyscrapers that came with the skyscrapers content creator pack, but ultimately I think the uniqueness of this building may stand out a little bit stronger than even some of those assets. Going back to it, you can see the variety of different colors included in this asset, as well as the mixed use first floor of the building. I also love that you can see the different textures on the roof, the different woods, and some shrubs just to add a bit of life to the building. And speaking of a modern city center, let's talk about the eco-friendly incinerator plant. Now this is something that I have been wanting for a very long time, which is to see a fresh take on the incinerator plant. Vanilla options don't look too great, so it's nice to see something that blends quite a bit more into a modern city or even a different themed city that you could use. I don't really have too much to say about the incinerator plant aside from it's nice to see something that doesn't look so, um, trashy. And last, but certainly not least, is the Jengbi Soft R&D Center. Now this is an awesome looking tech inspired headquarters building. I would love to see this in some office districts or even build a campus around it for a company. In fact, that's something that I plan on doing in a future Let's Play where we build a tech campus for our Sims. I love the open space through the center of it as well as the green space in the middle of the build. And honestly, the rooftop access with what appears to be outdoor working spaces is really doing it for me. I absolutely love this asset and I'm so excited to play with all of the different assets that came in the Heart of Korea pack. It's a fantastic pack, and if you've been considering picking it up today, I highly recommend it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed going over the 15 of my favorite assets from the Heart of Korea content creator pack, but be sure to check out the video on the screen right now because YouTube seems to think you'll like it. So let us know down in the comments below on this video or that video if they were right.